changes in the revised Bloom's taxonomy occur in terminologies, structure and processes. This framework has been applied by generations of K-12 teachers and college instructors in their teaching. There are six levels of cognitive learning according to the revised version of Bloom's taxonomy. Each level is conceptually different. The six levels are remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. The categories are ordered from simple to complex and from concrete to abstract. The classification is often referenced as a progressive climb to a higher level of thinking with the highest level being evaluation. The revised version changes the names of each of the six levels. For example, the lowest level of the original knowledge was renamed and classified as remembering. It is also important to note the change from nouns to verbs to describe the different level of taxonomy. The names of the major cognitive processes categories were changed to indicate action because thinking implies active engagements. Knowledge is an outcome or product of thinking. It is not a form of thinking. Consequently, since the word knowledge inaccurately described a category of thinking, it was replaced with the verb remembering. Thinking and other cognitive skills are becoming more important because the information explosion means less reliance on memorizing facts and more on the ability to understand, analyze, apply, evaluate and create. Non-cognitive skills cover a range of abilities such as conscientiousness, perseverance and teamwork. These skills are critically important to student achievement both in and beyond the classroom. They form a critical piece of worker skill sets which comprise cognitive, non-cognitive and job specific skills. Bloom's taxonomy remains a dominant theory in education today. Critical thinking activities are often tagged as Bloom's driven. Lesson objectives use Bloom's verbs and higher order thinking questions are generally developed with Bloom's in mind. Lesson plans and teaching resources at the pre-university level to categorize verbs and questions stamped into the Bloom's headings so that the product reflects the taxonomy and making the product emphasized more than the process. Movies are some of the student-friendly resources to teach the different levels of blooms. Teaching language with movies as the subject matter is always entertaining and thought-provoking because it creates an immediate buzz in the classroom. Also, this is one method that really benefits from technology in the class. If we have a good brainstorm exercise, students are inspired to use smartphones to search for information. Hence, movies can be used to promote higher order thinking skills among the pre-university learners. The following slides will address the six levels in the hierarchy and describe the types of learning outcomes in each level using action verbs. Moreover, it may provide a clear example from 
Aladdin released in 2019.